Hello guys and welcome to another video. So in the previous video in our flow control series we talked about gate and now we are gonna talk about multi gate. Just right click in your content browser, type multi gate and you can find it here under the flow control tab. It's kind of like a gate which we talked about in the previous video but it has some differences and a couple of additional functionalities. In order to be able to give input to my blueprint, I have these settings here which we discussed in the previous videos. It's just an event begin play connected to enable input and for the player controller, we have get player controller and we are good to go. Now let's type keyboard and add a key to our event graph. Let's put it on E and then connect it to our multi gate and then connect the multi gate to a print string. In my multigate, I can have several output pins and every time I press E on my keyboard, they will be activated from top to bottom until they reach the end of the list and if I check the loop option, it will go back to the top of the list and start again. So let's add a couple of printer string nodes and type green, red, yellow and blue and connect them to our output pins. Now you can see that every time I press E, they will be called and when I reach the end, it will go back and start from the first one, which is green. And of course, if I check random, they will be selected randomly. Here you can right click on the pins and remove them or insert pins in between them as you wish. Here you can define where to start your executions. It says minus one, but we don't have minus one here, so it will start from zero. And for example, if we set it on three, you can see that it will start from blue, which is our pin number three. Here you have a reset button, and what it does is that it will reset the multi gate and start from scratch every time it is triggered. For example, let's put the start index on zero, so we start from the beginning and then add another key say R for the reset. Now when I press E on my keyboard, I start from output number 1 and go to the next one, but when I press R, the multigate resets itself and start from output number 1 again. Multigate has a lot of use cases in making game logic and it is pretty handy. For example, let's say that you want to change materials for an object in game. Let's just add a sphere to our blueprint so we can see it. Then let's go back to our event graph and add a couple of set material functions. Here you can choose the materials you want and after you choose your static mesh as their target, which in this case is our sphere, you can switch the materials by just pressing a key and using a multigate after it. As you can see every time I press E on my keyboard, it will execute a pin and set a new material for my static mesh and when it hits the end of the list, it will start from index 0 again and makes a loop for me. Yeah, that is pretty much all about Multigate and I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, catch you later.